Here in D.C., dozens of people complained about U.S. involvement in the Syrian missile strikes. But WUSA 9's Michael Quander explains why some Syrian Americans say the attacks were a step in the right direction. It's really awful. It's upsetting. It's unfair. And it hurts to see what's happening. The images were awful. And to know that this is the situation. Nor Shakfe is talking about the chaos, the fighting that's erupted in Syria over the last 11 years, including this deadly chemical attack from a week ago. It's very hard to see that this is what's become of Syria, which is a place that I've known as my heritage and my home and where my family is. Shakfe is Syrian American with family trapped in the war torn country. In Syria, there is so much fear around talking about the regime and things related to what's happening now and just the government in general that you can't talk about it. So you just act like nothing is happening. The U.S., French and British forces agreed the chemical warfare could not be ignored. Shakfe and the Syrian American Council applauded the decision to unleash missiles on the heart of Syria's chemical weapons program. There has to be sustained effort to hold the Assad regime accountable and offer the Syrian people the justice and accountability that they deserve. But not everyone agrees. Stop bombing Syria! One group protested the missile strikes in front of the White House on Friday night. This will do nothing more than cause more death and destruction to a country that is already racked by death and destruction. And another group called the Answer Coalition was back Saturday morning, fighting against what it called a race toward an expanded war in Syria. I also care what happens to people when they're sleeping at 4 a.m. in the morning and there are missiles launched on their capital city. Reporting in Northwest Washington, Michael Quander, WUSA 9. After that protest, the Answer Coalition also had a teach-in at George Washington University. The goal? to educate people about what's going on in Syria.